Hi everyone, this is Ina. These are my live Q&As. Every Friday, I'll be here live answering your questions. Now, I have been getting a lot of questions about WordPress. Um, a lot of people want to know when they're about to start a website, which is the best platform. Should they go with Squarespace? Should they go with Wix? There's a million others out there and then there's WordPress. Now, WordPress is not paying me for any of this, but I happen to have a lot of experience with it. So I thought I would interject here in the conversation and tell you my thoughts. So here's what happens. Squarespace, Wix, all of these places are designed for people who are not tech savvy. They just want to get something up and running. Now, when you sign up for those services, you have to be aware that as your business grows, you are going to start incurring what I call ignorance fees, right? So because you like really don't want to deal with anything, you are going to end up paying a premium. And I'm not talking just like a few cents. I'm talking like hundreds and hundreds of dollars a year um, more than you would if you just went with WordPress.org. Now, WordPress.org is completely free. So it's an open source platform and it's different different from WordPress.com. So I'm going to set aside all the square spaces and the wicks of the world. Um, you know, they're their own thing. They're not open source. You have a limited ability to modify the site. WordPress.com and WordPress.org, obviously they're both WordPress, but what is the difference between them? So WordPress.com is, you know, if you have a blog, that's basically the first place that you go to. It, you know, it's just there, you create an account, now you have a blog. Now, if you create your business website there and you find yourself needing uh, list building features and plugins to create pretty links and things like that, you're gonna end up paying a lot. I mean, the first tier of payment for WordPress is $25 a month. It may not sound like a lot, but what if I told you that I don't even pay that for the year with WordPress.org? In fact, WordPress.org, like I said, is free. The only thing you do have to pay for is your domain registration and your hosting service provider. So the, with a hosting service provider, the more years you sign up for, the, the less you pay per year. So with, um, you know, like, I'm gonna say like $300 you pay for maybe three years or four years or five years worth of hosting and that takes care of your WordPress subscription. So that's something that people really don't realize. Like, you know, $300 for three years, four years, five years is a fraction of like a tiny, tiny fraction of what you would be paying if you went with the other services because you're incurring what I call the ignorance fees. So WordPress.com and WordPress.org, they look exactly the same, uh, only that WordPress.org gives you all the features of WordPress and you don't have to pay more for them. So to like, really lay all of this out i created a bonus for people who sign on to my mailing list it's called wordpress versus wordpress and it explains to you basically what i just said like the difference between wordpress.com and wordpress.org um you know and like once you read that it will be super obvious to you which one is best for you because there is a market for people out there to go wordpress.com route I'm not gonna say there isn't. So in this freebie, I also include WordPress.com may be for you if you meet this criteria. So after you read that document, you will know exactly, you know, which one to go with. So I thought I would just interject here and just say, you guys that are looking to create a website, um, know your difference between WordPress.com and WordPress.org because if you end up signing up for the wrong one, you may it end up being costly to you. And I hate to see people overpay for websites, especially when WordPress.org is free. So that is my answer to the Q&A for today, trying to keep it really short and sweet. To get that document, go to inacolveny.com slash WP free. That's WP because of WordPress free. All right, inacolveny.com slash WP free get your freebie, get that bonus. And I'd be remiss if I didn't tell you, I have a five day challenge coming up and it is happening July 9th and it is to help people with their business idea, with finding their target audience and with figuring out what are the building blocks of their website. We'll get all of that done in five days. I'll be there live answering questions. I'll be there for you. You just have to sign up for it. And for that, go to inacoveni.com slash hero. I want to see you there. You are going to get access to an exclusive exclusive Facebook page where I'm going to be posting all the homework. So even if you can't attend live, I'll be there and you can just come and watch the replays and that, you know, I'll just get you all set. All right. So I can't wait to see you there. I am going to go because it is Friday and I got a lot of stuff to do, but thank you for watching. That was my 
Friday Q&A episode. All right, guys, have a wonderful weekend ahead.